January 8, 2021, Writing. The following slide will contain a writing prompt. After reading the prompt, you must solve it and respond with a written mathematical explanation of how you solved the problem using at least two vocabulary words. Katie is making cookies for her neighborhood friends. Katie has made 3,648 cookies. She has 12 friends that she wants to share the cookies equally with. How many cookies will each of her friends get? So obviously she's dividing up her cookies by 12 of her friends. So first we're going to put 3,648 as our dividend inside the house. 3,648. And we are going to, whoop, and we're going to put our divisor on the outside, which is divided by 12. So we are going to have 12 on the outside of our house. And now we can begin to divide. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Now we can begin to divide. So we have um, 12 cannot go into 3, but 12 can go into 36. So how many times can 12 go into 36? Well, I know 12 times 2 is 24. Oh, yeah. 12 times 3 is actually 36. So I'm going to put the 3 up top, and I'm going to bring down our 36. Now what do we do? We subtract. 36 minus 36 is going to equal 0. So are we done because I got a 0? No, we need to bring down that next value, which is a 4. Now... How many times can 12 go into 4? Well, it can go in 0 times. It can't go in. So we need to put that 0 up top. And after we put that 0 up top, 12 times 0 is just 0. This is why we're able to bring down that next digit. Because if you still multiply it through, um, you get a 0. And then when you subtract, 4 minus 0 is um, 4. So we can keep that 4 there. And now we'll be able to bring down... There we go. Um, to bring down our eights. Now, there we go. Perfect. Now we have an eight here, and that makes it 48. So how many times can 12 go into 48? Well, I know 12 times 3 was 36. Oh, yeah, another 12 is 48. So 12 times 4 is going to be 48 evenly. Woohoo! So let's put that 48 down there. Now, if we do 48 minus 48, we are going to get ba -da -ba, 0. All right, so 48 minus 48, we will get 0. And there's no remainders, and there's nothing left to bring down. So our answer is 304. Well, our answer is going to be 304 what? 304 cookies that each of her friends are going to get. So let's write about it. First, rewrite the problem with 3,648 as your dividend and 12 as your, whoop, not sad, as your um, divisor and ask yourself how many times does 12 go into 36? Then, well, we had to multiply. So then we took that um, 3 because we knew it went in 3 times. So then we multiply 12 and 3, whoop, not adding, and 3 to get 36. Then you will find... Um, the difference between 36 and 36, which is zero. All right, next, we're going to bring down the next digits, which is four. And ask yourself. How many times does 12 go into 4? Now, we multiply 0 and 12 to get a product of 0 
and then subtract zero from that four to get four. After, we have to repeat this, repeat this process until there are no other digits left to bring down, checking along the way, of course. Finally, once you have no other digits to bring down with no remainders, um, you will get a value of 304, which represents the number of cookies each of Katie's friends will get. I'm gonna make that one little tiny notch smaller. There we go. All right, so as I read through, we're gonna pick out some vocabulary words to make sure that we have at least two per the first slide. So remember, we need at least two vocab words. All right, so first, rewrite the problem with 3,648 as your dividend and 12 as your divisor, and ask yourself, how many times does 12 go into 36? Then multiply 12 and three to get 36. Then you will find the difference between 36 and 36, which is zero. I know that word difference is a, a vocabulary word, so I'm going to highlight that. Next, bring down the next digit, which is four, and ask yourself, how many times does 12 go into four? Now we multiply zero and 12 to get a product of zero, and then subtract zero from four to get four. So I know that also the word product is going to be a vocab word. Um, after, repeat this process until there are no other digits left to bring down, checking along the way. Finally, once you have no other digits to bring down with no remainders, you will get a value of 304, which represents the number of cookies each of, cookies each of Katie's friends will get. So then I know that word value is also a vocab word. So that is going to be it for the writing. Great job.